Hey guys, how you all doing? Rexy's Gaming Bro here, back in 2023 now. Hope you guys enjoyed 2022 as it was the year of the dinosaurs. It cannot be undermined. I mean, we had Jurassic World Dominion, Camp Cretaceous Season 5, The Hidden Adventure for Camp Cretaceous, Prehistoric Planet, the Netflix series announcement, Evolution 2 content out the wazoo. Like, 2022 was definitely one of the biggest years for dinosaurs in quite a long time. I think even bigger than both Fallen Kingdom and Jurassic World even. But today we're not going to be talking about reminiscing about 2022 because 2022 is gone. We're here in 2023 now waiting for what the future holds for the franchise. But we need to backtrack to Jurassic World Dominion for today's video because today I want to talk about a question that actually was answered in Jurassic World Dominion. And fun fact, I actually plan to do this quite a long time ago. In fact, I think I had it planned for when the movie first came out, but it slipped my mind because of school and I was like, oh geez, I still need to do this, which kind of hilarious. But today we are actually going to be talking about a question that has been held in the franchise ever since Jurassic World introduced us to more pterosaurs, specifically the Dimorphodons and the Jurassic World Pteranodons. And nowadays we also have Quetzalcoatlus at, added to the list. And today, we're going to be answering a question that's been in existence ever since Jurassic World fell. Because with Jurassic Park 3, we sort of saw a conclusion to these guys. But then, with Jurassic World and Fallen Kingdom, we sort of were brought this question again. But we finally have our answer, thanks to Jurassic World Dominion, and we're going to talk about it right now. <laughs> So the question that is to be discussed today is specifically about the Pteranodons, Dimorphodons, and well, yeah, actually that's it because Quetzalcoatlus was made by Biosyn, so the islands didn't have to be bothered. But ever since the Lost World, we've had pterosaurs in the entire franchise, whether it be the games, the shows, they've always been there now. But one question that many fans, myself included, have always had since then is why did they never leave the island? I mean, yes, in Jurassic Park 3, we actually saw them leave the island, and actually they made their way all the way to Vancouver in Canada, which, shout out to us Canadian boys and girls, but ever since then, we've never seen Pteranodons actually escape the island. We've seen brief glimpses of them, like, flying away from the island, or even back to the island, such as in Jurassic World, where we got a brief cameo of a Dimorphodon that actually was flying back towards Isla Nublar before getting shot by Hoskins mercenaries, which was a very interesting detail that always questioned me as a child, because, well, when the movie came out, I was only 12, so my little brain was like, wait, if it was leaving the island, why the hell is it coming back? But ever since then, we actually never got really a confirmed answer. We've all had our theories of, like, maybe it was because of air currents or the fact that Maybe the Dimorphodon wasn't able to fly too far because of lack of stamina or something like that, which even in its species field guides for like Evolution 2 and such, it's mentioned how it's not good at flying for long periods of time, which is very interesting. However, Jurassic World Dominion, with the introduction of the Biosyn Valley, actually gave us an answer to how they contain their Pteranodons, which was the aerial deterrent system, which was designed to keep them at a certain height in the Biosyn Valley, so in case any helicopters or planes came by, they would not be attacked. Unless, of course, it was shut off, hence why Kayla Watt's team kind of got annihilated by a Quetzalcoatlus, because this aerial deterrent system was turned off. However, this also raises a question of how it was done with Jurassic World, because there were loads of Pterandons, loads of Dimorphodons on there, and with Fallen Kingdom, there was the whole thing about getting the dinosaurs off the island and even the Pterandons. We saw them flying away from the island when the volcano erupted. But one detail that not many people really talked about with that movie was that after they flew away, they actually sort of flew onto some rocks and just sat there, literally doing nothing. Which was a detail that kind of always made me question what are they doing, especially with the volcano still hurling shards of rocks and like lava towards them but it was a question that never got really answered until the end of Dominion that is because the plot point at the end of the movie where the characters are trying to escape the Biosyn Valley as it's on fire actually gave us our answer 
thanks to Claire Deering, who of course worked at Jurassic World, knew all of its systems, and basically ran the damn thing. One thing she actually mentioned was actually the system itself, and how it was the same system that they had used at Jurassic World, which actually already answered our question, because it means that the system that Biosyn was using, like many systems that were used by Manticore, or even Biosyn again, or even other rival companies probably, many of their systems were taken from InGen and Mizwani and were implemented into their own, including this one, which means that Jurassic World, the answer we had is thanks to Dominion, because Dominion actually states that Jurassic World used the same thing, and this actually answers questions that we had, such as the Pterodons not flying away when the volcano was a threat, or even that Dimorphodon that briefly showed up in Jurassic World that was flying back to the island. It's very likely that what happened was it reached the radius and then actually turned around because it realized it couldn't go any further, which is a very interesting thing, and it sort of answers those little details very nice. And it's one thing that many people need to credit Jurassic World Dominion for, because even though it is a messy film to begin with, like the story does not make all the sense to most people and some of the things with it are not my personal favorite, one thing I definitely respect the movie for is definitely its boldness and the way it answers many questions in the franchise and how it connects them in a lot of ways. Whether it's the Lost World Rexes finally being revealed to still be alive, or this little detail, there are so many things that are answered through the film. Or even the fact that we get to see dinosaurs returning that we haven't seen in a while, plus also new prehistoric species. It's very interesting how Dominion was able to at the same time of being sort of a mess in like its story for a lot of people, was also able to fill in a lot of holes for the other stories, which I think is one of its strengths. But anyway guys, that's just my opinion guys, like, personally for me, Dominion is still a really good movie. The story could be better, the final fight, of course you guys know my opinions on that, but for the story itself and like, the expansion it's done for the franchise cannot be understated. It definitely is a movie that like, has its flaws, but definitely saved the franchise from being a total loss. Because Fallen Kingdom, while I do enjoy it, was really a hard hit from both fans and audiences. Most did not really like that movie. I myself love Fallen Kingdom personally, for a lot of reasons, but I know Dominion is not always the best topic to bring up nowadays, as it sort of has that Jurassic Park 3 reputation, which I personally don't agree with it. It's not that low in the franchise. But anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on this? And also, what are your hopes for the franchise in the future? And do you hope that they keep doing this with the franchise, helping answer some of these questions that are burning in our minds? I don't know about you, but if they keep doing it like this, I think they're going to have a bright future as long as they manage to keep a balance of the story and the characters and these little easter eggs and also questions being answered in a proper balance. But whatever your own thoughts are, I'd love to hear them all in the comments down below. And if you guys have enjoyed the video, you know the drill. Hit the like and hit the subscribe button to join the hunt as we want to keep growing the channel so we can do more for you guys. And of course guys, until the next video guys, let me know your thoughts on Dominion, let me know your thoughts on the franchise as a whole and what future you want to see with it, whatever they are, leave them in the comments, and until next time, stay safe.